Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to take a look at the newest floor plan in the Grand Surveyor line from Forest River. This is the 2023 Grand Surveyor Model 253 RLS. This particular trailer is going to come in at 31 feet 9 inches from hitch to bumper and is going to be 6,379 pounds as we see it here equipped today. Uh, you might see these a little bit lighter than this since this has a lot of optional equipment on it. Now this is Surveyor's only rear living travel trailer in their whole lineup and it comes in just over again just over that 31 foot mark. This one's going to feature two air conditioners, the optional Arctic package, a rear travel rack, bike rack, whatever you want to call it, optional theater seating, completely carpetless interior, a 60 by 80 queen bed, and an awesome kitchen and bathroom area that I think you're really going to enjoy. So without further ado, let's go ahead now and jump on to the inside. Okay guys, so I'm standing in the doorway up to the pass-through bathroom, and as you can see here, this has a very open and spacious floor plan with lots of big windows. Now, one of the things that Surveyor did about uh, just uh, a little over a year ago is they went to a completely carpetless slide out, which is just awesome because it's so easy to clean. Um, it's one of my absolute favorite features on these surveyors. And I love the fact that they do the matching linoleum. Now, you do have the little hem there to keep the linoleum from curling up. But uh, it's a very uh, neat feature and something that you don't find in everything yet. It's still not as common as I would like it to be. <clears throat> now, back here, this is an optional piece of equipment. You do have a theater seat in this particular one. So both of these will recline. You're also going to have the armrest that comes down in the middle with a couple of extra cup holders there. Great big windows um, around that theater seat. Now the side end windows do open. This big back picture window, it does not open, which I'm okay with. Other than that, every other window in this trailer does open, which is really nice. Now, for a rear living trailer, check out all these campsite windows that you get. You get three big windows plus the window in the entry door, which they previously didn't do. So I really do like that as well. All of your windows in a Grand Surveyor are going to feature the roll-down blackout shades, which is a little bit of an upgrade over the standard Surveyor Legend, which has pleated shades. Now, one of the things I would love to see changed in these uh, is I'm not a huge fan of where the power outlets and USB ports are. I would like to see those up towards the top of those and the cabinets down at the bottom. Um, I understand why they did that, you know, so that the cabinets are a little bit higher, but with today's phone cords and laptop cords and stuff, they seem to keep getting shorter and shorter and shorter. So I think it would be better to flip flop those. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know if I'm wrong. Uh, that's just the way I see it personally, but um, that's just my opinion. Now, spinning to our right, I almost couldn't figure out which way I wanted to go there, you have the booth dinette. Now, this will turn down into a sleeping area. As you can see in the video that will pop up, this will be a very good uh, space for a couple of grand kiddos or an occasional guest that you have. Now, I love the fact that you've got the two windows over here. Both of those do open. And something that you don't see very often anymore is the fact that this has full overhead cabinetry in the slide, which is very cool, very unique. It's something that so many brands are not doing anymore. And I really do like that. It's kind of a classic feature. And uh, Surveyor is real good about doing that sometimes, uh, depending on, you know, where they can and what makes sense. Now that's not daylight above the slide out. That is an LED light strip. It, I love the fact too that it's white. Um, it's not disco blue or um, the amber they had looked really good, but I'm, you know, white is never the wrong answer, I don't think. One of the other nice things about these surveyors is they're 83 and a half inch tall interiors, which is really cool 
especially if you're a taller person like myself. I'm 6'2", 6'3", depending on, on if I'm wearing boots or tennis shoes. Um, and I don't have to have my head in the shower or in the skylight um, when I'm taking a shower in uh, potentially in one of these. Over here, right inside the entry door and up high where the kiddos can't get to them, you've got your solar charge controller for your standard 80 watt solar panel. You're also gonna have your awning and slide out controls and some lighting controls. And then this is the Wi-Fi booster control. So that turns it on and off. Um, there also is a way to get 4G LTE uh, data on, on these. It's a WineGuard Air 360. And uh, you just have to buy the piece that plugs into it that way you can have that. <clears throat> now, one of the other kind of neat things, and you don't see this too often, you do have a skylight, or not skylight, a uh, vent right here. Now, one of the nice things with this is if you did want to, you could put a Max Air fan in here. Now, I don't think it needs it, but if you did want to, you can. Surveyor is also using a Furion air conditioner, and one of the really nice things about that is they don't do a 13,500 BTU. They do a 14,500 BTU. So you're already getting 1,000 extra BTUs on your, you know, your main AC compared to the competition that's using a Coleman uh, or a Dometic, which are 13.5. Now, we've added the second 14.5 air conditioner in the bedroom so you have what is that twenty nine thousand btus of cooling power in a 30 foot camper it's you know if you're looking for something around 30 foot that will keep you cool this is definitely one that i would consider the way we have it equipped now one of the other nice things and there's something you won't see in any surveyor is in floor ducted heating you have cabinet ducted heating as you can see over here and, and uh, that's easy to clean makes or makes the camper easy to clean you also have the central vac which is pretty cool so you've got the tow kick there which is basically an electric dust pan and then you also for 2023 get the hose kit as well which is very very nice now over here in your entertainment center this tv is on a swing arm so you can swing it out towards the theater seats if you do want to uh it is in a pretty good spot for viewing from the dinette and uh, you know what, let's, uh, let's just go ahead and do this now. And bear with me here, since I'm doing this one-handed. There we go. So with the TV swung out, if we take a seat in the left-hand theater seat, you can see you've got a really good um, viewing angle there. The right hand, it's still decent. It's better though in the left-hand theater seat. Um, but that's nice that they do put it on a swing arm mount for you. And I love the fact that this isn't in a televator. That way you've got all the countertop space there. And we'll touch on that here in just a little bit when we get into the kitchen area. You've got your propane leak detector right there. 5200 BTU electric space heating fireplace. That's basically a fancy electric space heater if you're not familiar with those. And then this big sound bar here. That's an AM, FM, and Bluetooth soundbar it controls the interior and exterior speakers plus it has hdmi and usb ports so you can run that through the tv if you do choose to which is pretty cool and that's something that not all stereo systems do especially in the rv industry so with that being said guys let's go ahead now let's open up all this storage because i'll tell you for this size of camper it's got some really good storage all right, guys, so starting at the back of the trailer, up top, you have some great storage here. All of this is pocket screwed cabinetry. Now, these are all on strut supporting uh, hinges, too, which is very nice. And you've got the uh, cabinet struts here. All this is pocket screwed cabinetry. Again, so if you feel where these two pieces of wood meet right here, you've got a screw that's screwing them together instead of staples. So a lot better uh, built cabinetry. Now, down here... You've got some decent little pockets that will go all the way back there. All pressed membrane, thermal foil style countertops. These are a Surfex brand countertop, which is scratch, stain, and chip resistant. So same thing over here. Now above your dinette, 
I mentioned that you have some great storage here as well. This will go all the way across too, and it's fairly deep, which is another good thing. Now I only have one side of the dinette taken apart, um, but you can see you've got your easy access dinette storage, which is strut supported plywood. Makes it easy to put some of those bigger items that you don't use every day, such as big pots and pans or uh, cases of water, crates of soda, whatever you wanna put there, um, it's easy to get to. Now, continuing in the slide out, you've got your 10.7 cubic foot, 12 volt DC compressor driven refrigerator. This one is a Furion refrigerator. As you can see there, great space. Now, these are fully travel safe. They work off of the charge line on your pickup or the solar panels or um, 110 power. Now, they still are 12 volt. Uh, your converter is transferring that or changing that 110 volt power coming in from your campsite to 12 volts so you can still run these things. And then right here you have a massive pantry with a motion sensor light in here too. Um, the only thing that I would have liked to seen on this is maybe some adjustable shelves potentially. This is great, don't get me wrong. But what do you think? Adjustable shelves or fixed shelves like this? And this is held in place by a magnet and I just like the fact that, that that door just looks really sharp. Now over here in your kitchen, just take a look at this football field sized prep area that you get. You don't see this in very many trailers. A lot of times you'll see a televator here, which is cool, but you don't get access to the full countertop space um, because there's it's either a step up or a step down or it has, you know, a, a little crack where you could easily spill water, food particles, whatever. Now up here you have a little bit of storage. It's not the deepest in the world, but it's very functional. And that will go all the way back to that corner. This side is a lot deeper, so you could use this for some of your plates and cups, or plates and bowls, excuse me, cups maybe on the other side. Love that black glass there too, by the way. You also are going to have a microwave and hood range combo. If we take a kneel down here, you can see you've got outlets here, which are easy to get to. Dual lights, nice little window there. High rise pull down sprayer faucet with the dual cutting board drying racks right there. You also have a countertop extension right here too to even give you more countertop space. Now keep in mind, you do have to fold that down to pull in the slide out and I'll show you that here in just a little bit. Three full extension plywood box, ball bearing drawer guided drawers. And you can see these are nice and deep too. And I love the fact that they're giving you three good sized drawers. And then down here, you've got more spots for those pots and pans. Now over here, you're gonna have your three burner cooktop with the glass cover, oven down below in case you wanna do some baking. And in case you're wondering, yes, you do have the blue lights and the light in the oven. Again, glass cooktop cover, three burners there. You're also gonna have the utensil holder. So for spatulas, serving spoons, things like that. And then this is actually not a vent, it's a knife block, which is pretty cool. And then this backsplash too is fully, I don't knew that was gonna happen, is fully removable. So that can act as another cutting board. Now you're probably wondering, what's this red box? This is your tire pressure monitor system that comes standard on every surveyor. So that is a huge perk. You don't find this on a lot of bumper pulls. A lot of the competition, for example, that I have on my lot, so we'll use Alpha Wolf as an example. They have the little stem caps that change color. This is better. It's actually inside the tire is where that goes. And uh, it's already ready. You just have to basically pair the monitor. But the neat thing about that is it, you know, you, you'll see it in real time. So if you ever have a blowout, you know, it'll tell you instantly, which is really cool. Next to your fireplace, you also have a little bit more storage right there. And if we take another knee, you can see you have not one, but two sets of electrical household outlets on the bottom side of your entertainment center, which is so nice. So many kitchens in these travel trailers don't have good outlet coverage. And I do like that. Now, I get questions all the time. 
why do they not put them where they're down low in the kitchens? And the biggest reason is the way that the walls are constructed. Now they could have done it over there. I fully acknowledge that. But in your side walls, the walls are not thick enough to easily run wiring through it because these are a laminated wall. So it's easier for the manufacturing process and that actually costs a lot less money to stick them on the bottom side of cabinets when there's, where it's easier to run wiring. So, all right guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the kitchen space. Let's go ahead now and we'll take a look at the bathroom. Okay guys, so as we step into the bathroom, one of the things I forgot to mention, here's your main thermostat for your AC and your heat. You've got a little bit of countertop space. It's pretty decent, you know, especially with this over here. Good storage down there. You've also got a small little sink. Um, it, you know, it's still usable. I would have liked to seen it maybe just a little bit bigger, but that's uh, something I could easily um, work with. You've got your toothbrush holders here. Medicine cabinet right there with a mirror, of course. And then over here, you're going to have your four inch fart fan towel hooks which is those are in a pretty good spot i think and then you've got a 30 by 36 inch shower with the slow close shower curtain which is pretty nice and one of the things that surveyor does really well is they use oversized corner shelves in their shower surrounds not everybody does that it's something that you really need to uh, look at whenever you're uh, shopping around Porcelain foot flush lever toilet, toilet paper holder. And again, I'm 6'2", six, 6'3", six, and I can easily stand in the, in the shower uh, without having to have my head in the bubble, so to speak. Now, back over here, you're going to have a GFI protected outlet, your tank monitoring panel with your water pump and water heater controls on both gas and electric. And then right underneath that, these three switches here, those are your heated holding tank switches, which are part of the Arctic package that we've added to this particular trailer. You're also going to have pocket doors separating the living area from the bathroom and the bedroom from the bathroom. So this is a full pass-through bathroom. Now I know some people aren't huge about that, but it gives you the biggest bathroom in the shortest trailer overall. So if you're going to have a side aisle bath, the trailer would be about two foot longer. So with that being said, let's go ahead now and Jump up to the bedroom and look at that because Surveyor does one of my favorite bedrooms in a traditional bumper pool. Okay, guys, so in the Surveyor bedroom of this 253, you've got a 60 by 80 True Queen bed on each side. And I'll show you over here since I don't have the drawers open. You've got household and USB outlets right there. You'll have that on both sides. You're going to have two full extension plywood box bobber and drawer guided drawers that kind of act as a dresser nice big wardrobes they're nice and tall and then you've got full overhead storage that goes all the way across even into that corner there you are going to have a front windshield and i forgot a couple of lights but we'll roll with it so this is the only window in here that does not open um which is you know to be expected even up here in the bedroom you've still got the roll down blackout curtains emergency exit right there Full pat or uh, not pass through, but storage underneath the bed. There's those uh, vacuum attachments that I was talking about earlier. And then over here, you have your second entry door. Which the nice thing about this, since it's a pass through bathroom, if you're up here and somebody's using the facilities, you can easily go out this door and around to get to the rest of the camper. Now the biggest optional piece of equipment up here is this second air conditioner now this is not ducted it's a dump style air conditioner but one of the neat things that surveyor does also tv backer backer right there with the appropriate connections is they put their second acs on thermostatic control instead of just ceiling controls so i really do like that i wish more brands would do that in bumper pulls specifically uh, fifth wheels is kind of expected, but in bumper pulls, you don't seem to find that too often. Again, pocket door to separate off the master bathroom. And then I don't want to forget about this. One of the neatest features that Surveyor does is 
back over here you have these cubby holes behind the um, behind the wardrobes and you can see you've got a cup holder in there and then you have that other little hole and what this is good for and pardon my terrible camera work is you've got household outlets back there plus a hidden pocket of storage which is really cool i do like that it's great for cpap machines phone chargers anything you need to plug in at the head of the bed um, even if you wanted to put like a sleep number in here and you know be able to plug that in you could easily do that and that's one of the things that surveyor is really good is thinking outside the box on what people actually use when they go camping and not every brand can say that okay guys so i've got the slide out closed here and as you can see you can still come in here you can get to the theater seats you can get to the dinette you can get to your refrigerator as you can see there freezer too and this is an underrated feature bear with me here you can get to the pantry that is so important so great great job surveyor on travel access you've also got full access to your kitchen now you still want to have this pulled down to bring in that slide out but as you can see you can get to pretty much everything now you do have to use the secondary entry door and yes there are steps i'm just rolling with this uh since i forgot to put them down but you can get to the bathroom from the front entry door very easily and of course you can get to the bedroom so this one is fully turtle friendly which is awesome all right guys we're back on the outside of this 253 rls so starting up front one of the differences from a grand surveyor to a surveyor legend is in the grand surveyor as you can see here you have a three-quarter fiberglass front cap instead of just the laminated fiberglass front you're going to have a power tongue jack here two 20 pound propane tanks with the auto changeover regulator reels for your battery you've got a battery disconnect and then that yellowish box is your repeater for your tire pressure monitoring system you're gonna have four corner stabilizer jacks those are gonna be manual but they do give you the three quarters inch jack bit to uh, run those with a cordless drill magnetic holdbacks on all baggage doors aluminum cage construction with aluminum bed bases is a feature they've been doing for several years now then you've got your griddle right here <laughs> there's that jack bit and then you've got a motion sensor light in here as well now this is a slam latch door here as well which is again very nice if we look underneath you can see that you've got a fully enclosed and forced air heated underbelly and again don't forget you've got the 12 volt heat pads on all holding tanks you're gonna have the black glass entry doors huge power awning with led light strips larger entry assist handles on both entry doors now in this one because the bedroom is a little tight they do the fold up style steps which i am i it makes sense that way you're not taking up space in the bedroom you can see there's those led light strips plus you've got the porch light there and dual outside speakers now right here is going to be your outside kitchen this is where that griddle will go this will flip up and then you can mount that to the uh, tray there and then there's a little dump sink that goes right here cold water spray port right there it comes with the hose and then you're going to have your whoops your uh, outside mini refrigerator right there you've got great looking black aluminum wheels again tire pressure monitoring system plus you're going to have the five plus two plus one tire warranty which is very nice so that's five years against defects two years of roadside assistance and 12 months no questions asked for replacement guarantee on those tires and then there's a close-up at those wheels <coughs> pardon me cable and power out here if you did want to bring a tv outside there is no backer in the wall though i get that question all the time You've got your Moride step above steps back here with that'll fold up inside the door and have the adjustable feet. Again, larger entry assist handle here. 
And then right here, you're gonna have your rear bicycle rack or travel rack, ladder to get up on top of the one piece uh, PVC roof membrane. That's fully walkable, all LED tail and marker lights. And then you've got your backup camera prep right there. You're also gonna have a 80 watt solar panel up on the roof that is expandable up to 200 watts. So you can, you know, put some decent solar on, th on this if you want to. Anything above 200 watts, you do have to kind of upgrade a little bit. Now right here, this is gonna be your cable and power, uh, or your cable and satellite hookup, excuse me, and then your 50 amp service. You do have one slide out on this unit. It is prepped for the Solaris slide awning toppers. And then as we come over here, you've got your city water and black tank flush location right there. Great spot to dump your tanks, as you can see right there. Um, that is a little close to that rack gear, but you can still easily get to it without having to get way up underneath the slide out. And then lastly over here, you're gonna have your six gallon gas and electric water heater, direct spark ignition, your fresh water inlet, and then you've got your uh, other side of your baggage store. Now Surveyor does use the Asdale composite sidewall materials underneath that fiberglass. So what that means for you is it is a waterproof, moldproof, and mildew proof sidewall. They use it in the sidewalls, front wall, rear wall, uh, and all the slide out box too, which is very nice. Now, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's probably been a little longer than my normal video tours, but that's going to wrap it up for this Grand Surveyor 253 RLS. If you're interested in this trailer and you have any questions or if you'd like pricing and availability, as soon as I get this posted to our website, I'll put a link in the video description where you can check that at any time. You can also give us a call at 806-335-2336 with any questions that you have, or you can send us an email at contact at custom-rv.com. If you would like to work with me directly, my name is Corey. I am the sales manager here at Custom RV, and uh, you can reach me directly at my cell phone number. That's 806-382-6274, or you can use any of the other company contact information. You can easily get to me. Um, I'm more than happy to be able to work with you, um, whether it's this trailer, any trailer uh, that we carry, or if you're looking for something used. Um, I would love the opportunity to earn your business and uh, see if I can help get you in the right camper. So, all right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you could do me a favor, hit that like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe and notification bell down below. That'll help keep you up to date on all of our new content that we have coming out for you periodically here at Custom RV in Amarillo. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Remember, at Custom RV, we know that RVs are made for women, so men can go camping. And we don't do any of those pesky hidden dealer fees like some of the big box dealers do. All right, guys, we thank you very much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed. Uh, since this is coming out in December, we hope that you you and your family have a safe and Merry Christmas. And uh, please, again, feel free to reach out if we can help you with anything RV related. We'll talk to you again very soon.